sisters, my brothers, let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty One. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all of us, church. O God, who have willed that your priests should minister at your holy altar and serve your people, mercifully grant that by the power of this sacrifice, the ministry of being of this man, your servant, may always be pleasing to you, and bear in your church fruit that lasts forever. Grant this through Christ, my Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, you made your only begotten Son, High Priest of the new and eternal government. And by your ineffable plan, you were pleased to ordain that many ministries should be carried out within the Church. For Christ not only accords the dignity of a royal priesthood, to the people he has made his own. But he also chooses men with a brother's care to receive a share in his sacred ministry by the laying on of hands. He chooses them to lead your holy people in, char in charities, to nourish them with your word, and to renew them through their sacraments. As they offer their lives to you, and for the salvation of their sisters and brothers, they are to strive to be conformed to the image of Christ himself, and to offer you their constant witness of faith and love. And so, Lord, we join all the angels and saints in their joyous hymn of your praise. <laughs>
Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. salvation from all the world. May you graciously strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, together with your servant Benedict, our Pope, with the order of bishops, and this your servant ordained today to be a priest of the church and all the clergy and the entire people you claim as your own. <coughs> Father, hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you. In mercy and love, unite all your children wherever they may be. Welcome into your kingdom, our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy forever the vision of your glory through Christ our Lord, from whom all good things come. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy 